After watching this video, you will know how to match any dance move to any song correctly. And we're going to keep it very basic. So the objective will be to do simple movements without losing the beat at all, then to do like complex, fancy stuff, right? Because we have to be able to do simple things before you move on to more interesting movements. So especially if you've always struggled with rhythm, when you're on the dance floor, it makes you feel uncomfortable that you don't know how to dance correctly with the music. This video is for you. And this is a place to be if you want to become more confident dancing in general. My mission with this channel is to take every single person off of the sidelines onto the dance floor, having them enjoy the experience and take full advantage of their social life. So to help me support my mission, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell for more videos just like this one. Give this video a like if you're excited for me to dive in. And let's dive in. We're going to start with listening for the snare drum. This is like number one beat you should be able to hear in every single song to be able to dance to it. So let me show you where it is in this song, for example. Remember, we always are looking for a sound that resembles a snap or a clap. It's going to always be the loudest beat. I have plenty of tutorials on the rhythm on my channel. I will link the playlist below for you. But just so you have a general idea, when we dance, the entire song will ignore everything else and will only listen for that snare drum while we match different movements to it. And just a little tip here, when you practice and you struggle with rhythm, you want to get better at it, always look for instrumental songs because it's just less distracting, okay? So this is what I'm going to use for this video as well. Let's dive in. It's so much easier to stay on beat when you're only moving one thing at a time. So we'll stick to doing one layer. We'll just do the footwork today. Once you practice, once this is easier for you, I will make another video on how to add the upper body to all of those steps. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the notifications bell. We're going to start building your coordination as well, but it has to start with rhythm. So follow me. I'm going to only do the footwork. Let's do it. First move, heel up. Every single time you hear the snare, lift the heel one at a time. You don't have to move anything else. Arms can be down. Let's go. Next one. Heel in. Don't lose the beat. That's our number one goal. We're sticking to that snare. Once you have it, next step, let's step forward. Little touch in the front, directly on that beat. Treat it as your deadline. Next step, very similar. We'll just take the foot and bring it out to the side instead of forward. You still go out, out. Got it. Let's try the knee bend, something in place. Every snare, you're going to drop the body down a little bit. Stick with it. We can't lose the snare. Next step, very popular, we're going to do our two-step side to side. Every snare, you want to close the feet together. That is our deadline. Keep the knees relaxed, legs relaxed, and go open, close, open, close, same pace. And one more step. Stick with it, we're almost there. We're going to just change one little detail. Heel in at the end. You still go side to side. Okay. 
Were you able to stay on beat? Let me know in the comments. First time around might not be that easy, but if you work on this exercise, do it as many times as you can, it will get easier, I promise. I will also dance for one song without talking, so you can like really focus on listening for the snare. This will be also a good way to practice. And mind you, because we only were moving the feet, those movements look stiff, right? They didn't look very attractive, they didn't look relaxed or groovy, because again, the objective was to just match them to the beat. This is like the first step, right? Before we make the movements look good, we have to make sure we do them correctly. So we'll start there, but then in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can add different body parts to those steps that we did so they already can get a little bit more interesting so that you can start building your coordination so definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video it will be crucial because we need coordination to dance and if not having rhythm is preventing you from feeling confident when you're on the dance floor when you're dancing at parties in my online program i help hundreds of adults with exact same issues we build their rhythm skills as well as all the other fundamental skills needed for specifically being able to dance at parties in social settings building their confidence to dance in front of others so they can enjoy dancing with other people and in front of other people if you struggle with all of that make sure you book a call below or a free one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me we will identify what you struggle with we'll create a plan specifically for you to be able to finally learn how to dance successfully and we'll see if you're a fit to work with me inside my online program confidence through dance i will see you guys on the inside <laughs>